Good morning. Hello everyone and welcome back into this new video of Minecraft. Uh, so, uh, last time I've left you a, 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 a little bit, let's say, hanging because uh, I wasn't done with this one. Whoa! Yes, uh, off camera I finally completed the, the whole setup. So uh, now we have a full fledged pumpkin and melon farm, as you can see over here. Uh, we just need to do uh, one small last addition, but uh, I can do it uh, also by myself. Simply covering up uh, this uh, last area, because by putting a block on top of the node blocks, it will, it will prevent uh, it making sound. One of the problems we have to tackle, this is uh, the perfect example, is uh, items falling out of the farm itself. So we will have to build the cover. So, uh, uh, yes, co cover up the walls. And, well, we uh, also have to cover up the, all the garbage. <laughs> well, the, the, all this uh, mess of redstone. But I already have in mind uh, how I want to cover it. So that's no, no trouble. But in this episode, instead, uh, I want to work on the sorting system. Because as you can see here, it has been producing quite a, a little bit. And remember that, uh, well, we are actual, actually and actively losing some items because they pop out of the side. Uh, but once the, the farm is up to, well, uh, to full speed production, uh, we will need a much larger, well, a double chest won't be ever enough to store all the, the goodies. At the same time, we still have to work on, well, a catchment area for this farm, because it has been producing too. So that's my plan for this episode. Uh, namely, well, uh, whip up uh, a sorted system, so a wall of chests for this farm here, and uh, prepare uh, a couple of uh, of uh, loculi for uh, storing uh, farmers, because I will be having the farmer villagers down here near next to the the storage area. In that way, I can uh, instantly trade pumpkin and melons for uh, well for emeralds, since uh, uh, pumpkin and melons will be our main uh, source of emeralds from, from now on. I may think of bringing down a couple of uh, smiths from up uh, where the forge is, over to here, for the same approach uh, for the, the iron farm, but maybe in the future. I want, first of all, uh, build uh, the storage area over here and then maybe we will we still have some time spare we can concentrate ourselves on the iron farm okay that's it for planning and uh, therefore let's go ahead and start uh, gathering materials and digging out the area where the, the storage uh, will go see you in a bit Okay, so welcome back. Here we are. I've already dug out the area we are going to to occupy with uh, our hole. It's a little bit t tall, I know, but uh, first of all, well, some space is required for the the chest, uh, well, the storage system, because uh, I need to put uh, a couple of filters in place uh, and uh, prepare everything for, well, my plan, my devious plan. <laughs> uh, and uh, also, I want to have a, a very nice uh, and tall, uh, majestic uh, uh, room. Since uh, this place is where most of our emeralds are going to come from and most of our resources are then going to come from. Uh, so, uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, craft, craft up a couple of materials and then I want to show you how the system, well the sorting system will work. 
Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I've prepared, well, let's, let's call it a little mock-up uh, of our future, well, sorting system. And so, in a way that uh, uh, I can explain to you how a sorting system works, or at least uh, how you can filter and how it's everything, everything is going to work here. So, here we have the first, well, a part of the first uh, four modules of our system. You, you can see, basically, I'll just have to copy this design over here, over here, over here. So, uh, here you have the chests, which are, are just basic chests. There is nothing, uh, no sort of logic. But the important part is that uh, these hoppers are facing inwards towards the chests. While these over here we have a whole strip of hoppers. This is needed because otherwise uh, the, uh, the other columns over here wouldn't be hooked up one to the other and, and uh, to the source column, let's call it like that. So, uh, what's going on over here? I still have to place down the redstone I wanted to do it with you. We need redstone torches, redstone of course, a comparator and a repeater. So, we first place down our, uh, our comparator over here because it needs to read this, uh, this hopper. Beware that these two hoppers, at least, I've uh, done also this third one for safety measure, are not facing downwards, nor towards any chest on the sides. Because it, we need the, the items that go in here to stay in here, okay? So after that, we put down three pieces of redstone, and uh, lastly, uh, 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 a repeater, and a torch. So, what does this setup do? Basically, it prevents items from flowing downwards. If I were to put down here a raw copper or any item at all, it won't flow down. Now, let's pick up a couple of pumpkins. Why is this? Because, well, this, this torch is powering this block, which is in turn powering this hopper. So this hopper is uh, uh, prevented, let's say, from taking uh, items out of this of the, the one bar. So what we have to do now, next is a very peculiar setup. We need to put in uh, the item we want to filter and block out the rest with uh, some, let's say, impossible items. The best way to do that here is to just uh, rename the, uh, the item you put in. Well, you can just craft up a, a quick anvil. We have no longer <laughs> iron issues. Uh, so, an anvil. You take up whatever item you may want or, or may like. For example, uh, we'll call this pumpkins. Okay. Because now uh, the only way to uh, break the if we were to put these in here you will you will see that if we were to take some more pumpkins and drop them over onto this hopper you see that uh, they uh, well the first stack gets gets filled up but not the other ones because they are named they are not the same item and it is sl slowly making its way through so in, in a bit we should be able to say yes okay here you can see it's slowly making its way through and basically this allows uh, uh, only pumpkins to enter this whole chest and that's the sorting system done finished we don't need to do anything else just replicate it over to the other sides okay so uh, i've made a little adjustment to our uh, sorting system that i've already shown you uh, because if you have looked at uh, uh, if you paid attention uh, previously, we were uh, we were stuck with 41 items in this first slot. 
by uh, instead replacing uh, the redstone block over here with uh, a, a cobblestone block, we are ha we now have just two uh, strips of redstone, meaning that this uh, uh, th that the redstone torch can get disabled much earlier than uh, than previously. If we have less uh, items over here, it means that the hopper has a greater capacity to hold items and therefore uh, it, allow it enables us to simply uh, absorb more of the flow of items that may come through. So this is a, a very nifty advantage of... Uh, and also we, uh, we, <laughs> we are able to spare a, a piece of redstone. Okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, continue with the uh, well by adding the at least the other three sorters and well at least uh, a chest for the the melons and then we'll meet again because we will have to hook up everything in order for the system to function. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, I've went a little bit ahead and uh, I've also went a little bit away. <laughs> I went to gather uh, some packed ice in a nearby uh, in, in a nearby uh, iceberg biome, so frozen ocean, uh, near the the other village where we got the, our villagers first, <laughs> and also got myself a bucket of lava and placed down uh, the let's say uh, the water channel. That is going to bring the the item from over here over to the storage. Now I s just need to hook up the the uh, well the remain craft and hook up the remaining chests and hoppers, and we can get rid of uh, well this temporary solution, and instead move everything to an automated sorter. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Progress. <laughs> So, uh, I've just, I'll just review what I've done. I've finally hooked up everything over here. As you can see now, the, the pumpkins and mellows are flowing out and going over there instead of having a, a, a lonely double chest over here. And here they get sorted. Uh, the lava is necessary because in the extreme case in which we won't be emptying periodically the, the chest over here uh, well and if all the hoppers and chests and even up to the filter everything gets filled up uh, well the items instead of uh, sitting idly uh, on the last hopper or sitting idly waiting for the spawning in a, uh, in a water loop they get instantly destroyed. So, uh, avoiding some potential lag causes. Okay, so uh, the actual redstone system uh, is complete. It took a little bit longer than I thought, than I had initially thought. Therefore, uh, I'm ending the episode here. I'll work off camera on completing this uh, uh, part over here, and also uh, on the sorting chamber over here for the uh, for the iron farm which is much like this one just a little bit smaller and yes I thank you very much for uh, following me leave a comment if you w wish uh, to see something different if you wish to tell me anything at all but I I am looking much forward to your feedback on what I've done and what I'm doing and what I could do. Leave a like if you enjoyed the, the content and uh, subscribe if you'd like to well get notifications uh, about me publishing videos although I publish them both uh, on my Facebook page and my Telegram channel so be sure to check them out in the links in the link tree down below in the description. I thank you very much once more for following me and I'll wait for you in the next episode. Bye bye! Okay, uh, a little bit of a, uh, let's say, post-editing note. 
I've uh, seen that in the last two videos got uh, a couple of uh, views more than usual. Well, I'm usually uh, uh, getting between well one and ten views. Last two videos uh, both uh, went uh, up to almost thirty views, so I'm very happy about that. And I must uh, well thank you for <laughs> view my video. And uh, yes, that's it. I just wanted to thank you.